Hey guys, I'm Cleet Nation. I'm not in my usual background, but I'd like to show you um, some organized stuff that I've been working on lately. Some stacked up boxes and jerseys and balls and cleats. Just some behind the scenes stuff. Today, I'll be going up and show you what I found a few weeks ago, and then also be going on a cleat hunt, and then after that, be giving you some Instagram tips on how to create good original content for not only soccer cleats, but whatever your interests are, and how to take better pictures. And I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll go show you what I found. Now that I'm back in my rack, I will show you what I found a few weeks ago. So my friend let me know about a pair of cleats that was at my local Ross, and they were a pair of Radiant Reveal Vapor 10s. They weren't actually there when I got there, but these were there instead. So look at that, $25, Carol Superfly 6 in the launch colorway. Really nice sole plate. There you go. Even came with the bag too. So I'm going to be going to a few stores today and trying to repeat that. So I'll see you guys there. First stop is Ross. Go see what's inside. Nothing much so far. Some really low takedown materials. Club, 30 bucks. So from the same rising fire pack, we have the vapors, $30. Over here we have the same pair. I mean, good to see there's cleats, but not the greatest, $30. Last one before I hit the kids and women section. We have a pair of Tiempos in the turf version for thirty dollars. Pretty nice, size eight. Gonna go ahead to the women's and kids. Okay, some promising stuff at the kids section. Some materials for twenty dollars, and then over here, I haven't ever seen these. We have a pair of Ronaldinho indoors. For twenty dollars, haven't ever seen those at Ross before. It's honestly really cool. More materials over here for twenty bucks. It's out there, twenty dollars. Here at the jerseys, we don't have much. Or shirts, I should say. It's a Man U shirt. Barcelona. Nothing else. I have found some pretty good jerseys here before. Nothing else over here. So go to the shoes. Nothing at the women's, but there is a pretty cool pair of shoes. Some Ultra Boost for 38. Pretty cool. Retail is like 180 for those, so that's all for Ross. I'll see you guys at Marshalls. Those stuff from the last time I was here, but other than that, it's like super bare. Not sure why. Nothing really at all. Just those two, and then the Hyper Venoms right here. So really sorry about that, but super bare. Store number three, another Ross. And we have found our first pair of top end cleats. We have, I don't know how many, one, two, three, four, five pairs of Under Armour Magnetico Pros for look at that price, $30. So I'm gonna get at least one pair, not sure how many. So I'm gonna go see if there's some more stuff here, but first top end. Some junior materials there in there from the race on concrete. Nothing special from, oh, what, what's right here? Oh, some Tampa Legends for, where's the price tag? Sorry about that, $20 for some junior Tampos. Nothing too special from the youth section. Here we are at the shirts, trying to see if there's any cool jerseys. Oh. See the spot little man you tag there. Same man you shirt at the other Ross. Um, 
nothing else stands out to me. What's in here? Oh, we have a Ghana jersey. It's actually pretty cool. $25 Puma. But other than that, it doesn't look like anything. Final store for the day is Burlington. Hopefully cap off a great cleat hunt and find some, a few more top end cleats. Prizes, nothing. Then as we come over here, nothing over here in particular, but we have some size 13 uh, Vapors, Neymar, colorway he wore in the World Cup. And then coming around this corner, nothing and nothing over here. Nothing over here, super bare. So the only thing soccer related is a pair of these Phantom Vision Club for 35 and some Hypervenom indoors for 30, so. Pretty, pretty bare here. I apologize for how bare it was, but at least we got a top end pair at Ross, so that's always good. What I usually do when I take my pictures is I come in here sit down, look at my shelf, and think what cleats would go together to make a great picture and caption, or just that look cool together. So like, just to start, I could say this Superfly, and then there's so many other options, like you can do an all orange one, you can do Superfly 6 versus Superfly 5, you can do two different Superfly 6s in a picture, you can do like these two and say whichever which launch colorway was better. There's just a lot of options you can do, and that's just for this cleat. So I'm gonna go outside and show you how to get the best lighting and stuff. Outside, sorry for the poor quality. What I usually like to do is get around like nature and stuff, because I think that's a really cool background for my cleats. And it just happens so that I have some orange flowers here with some orange cleats. So you can do one like where you're holding them from the back, like right here by the flowers or you can do like the sole plate or like from the side like that. Um, that's one option. Another one is to like sit here and hold them right here. I really like it because it displays both of them pretty well and it also incorporates the background. You don't necessarily have to hold them at all. You can just prop them up against this brick wall right here, which really uh, demonstrates them really well. I really like this one too. For one of the last few ones is you can set them down on a plain background which for my case is concrete so you can move them around any way you want like right here you can do this this there's so many options you can like stand one up and keep the other one down there's endless options just make sure you have great sunlight and don't show the shadow of yourself many mistakes people have is taking pictures in bad light. This is good light, and you don't really wanna have shadows at all of yourself hanging over the cleats or anything like that. Lighting is the one of the biggest parts about pictures, so you always wanna have good lighting. Like, I really wouldn't say this is good at all. You got shadows all over it, and you don't wanna be, you don't wanna set them down and have your shadow over you like this. That's just not very good. One of the final things I'm gonna be showing you is like setting one down and then propping the other one up on top of it like this. Uh, it also displays them really well without holding your hand if you don't wanna show your hand. So this isn't the best light, but this is just an example to show you how I prop them up. This is also another cool background. It's just unique with all the different boxes. So that's also another option. It doesn't have to be nature or anything, it can be boxes or sometimes I put my cleats in front of my rack also pretty cool so I'm finished with taking pictures and show you some tips on how to take pictures but also a big part of posting and creating good original content is the captions and also editing 
I do edit all my photos just to make them brighter and uh, sharper. It will really make a big difference in the long run. Most of the time, my captions, I try and make them short and sweet, like which superfly is better, rate 1 to 10, copper drop, do you miss these, etc. Um, all of these captions are great and will work good for what you, if you're posting stuff like soccer cleats. If you aren't posting soccer cleats, I would also I would still try and stick to short and sweet comp, uh, captions, like do you like these? Which one's better? It really um, makes it short and always ask them a question, an intriguing question for them to answer to engage all of your followers. One last thing is I really encourage hashtags because they will reach your audience bet better. Well, not reach, but it will reach out to farther people that don't follow you and other people will see it other than just your followers so you can expand your following and it really helps so i encourage that too my camera of choice is this canon one um nothing too special you don't have to use a special camera you can use your smartphone if you have one or anything else most uh iphones and stuff like that will take Really good quality photos, so you don't need to worry about getting a special camera. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed the cleat hunt and the tips for creating good original content on Instagram and like how to take better pictures with lighting and cleats. You can also use these tips for not only cleats, for anything of your interest. So uh, I hope you guys learned and enjoyed this video. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe to see more cleat content, original, and I'll leave my Instagram and Twitter down below, so make sure to go check those out and hit a follow. Hit the follow button. Also, my giveaway is live on my Instagram, so make sure to enter that too. I will leave a link in the description to the specific giveaway, so there's that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.